How you doing? Hey, welcome to Devo's Week Chronicles. I am he, Devo. Smoke them if you got them, guys. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you ain't never been here before, please hit that like button. And then the subscription, man, if you had never been in here before, before, wow, uh, and the bell, please. We do live panels sometimes, man. You guys need to check it out. It's pretty cool. <coughs> Come be a part of it. And thank you guys for everything. Hey, and by the way, if you're out and about this weekend, go by Two Rivers Cannabis Company. You find a card with their name on it, and you have a medical license, man. It could be good for pre-roll. Go check it out, man. The, uh, the uh, Drag Night, Cruise Night, Cruise Night. The Cruise Night is this weekend there, Saturday night in Gore, Oklahoma. Come be a part of it. You guys that follow me and that are close, I'll be there. Come on, say hi, or get me high, or get high with me. Okay, guys, today's story is going to be a little different than usual stories, man. This one's one that, man, I got to get it out of my head, man, because it's kind of blocking everything. It's not a funny story. It's not a, a weed story. It, oh, I was high, okay? Oh, I was high, but. All right, people. I believe in Jesus Christ have for years, man. I know the power. I know everything. I, not everything, but I know what comes with it. I know what you're supposed to do. Do I do it? Not, no. No, I don't. Um, but, you know, hey, God knows my heart. Okay, saying that, I believe in angels, man. I believe in angels because I, I know I've seen a couple. I have, point blank. You want to hear about it? Here we go. The first time my wife and I, when we first got married, um, we got, she got pregnant and, uh, she had a condition that was called preeclampsia. And, uh, in the third trimester, I guess you would say the very end of her pregnancy, she, or we lost her baby. Okay. And it was a bad deal. I don't wish that on anybody. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that it's probably happened to. And I lost faith in everything, started drinking, started, you know, just, you can imagine, okay? And uh, it was a downer time for us. I was waiting in a big grocery store, we'll say. Not a grocery store. Well, it's, <clears throat> I don't say the name, but it's like a, it rhymes with Roscoe, okay? I'm sitting in there waiting on medication, um, you know, just all jacked up, man, lost big time and my faith's gone um i'm sitting there i always wear a cross i mean you know it's just the thing i do um makes me feel good you know uh knowing that it's there and uh but anyway i had it on um had my yankees hat on i was sitting there you know and man you, you just knew the things that was going through my mind you know it was just it was insane man uh to look back on it but I'm sitting there, and my mind was gone. All of a sudden, this black gentleman, about 6'4", skinny guy, salt and pepper in his hair, wearing a hat, sucking on a toothpick. Come around the corner there where I was at, and he see me, and he goes, I had my Yankees hat on. He goes, you from New York? And I'm, no. Oh, you just like the team? I said, well, actually, I could have played for him when I was a kid, and I kind of, Pissed it away and became a rock star. Thought I was going to be a rock star. He goes, hmm. You know what that means around your neck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what that means. He said, well, then I guess you are a rock star, huh? And turn around and walk away. He came. And I thought, huh, that was pretty inspirational. I'll just say, you know, hey, God bless you, man, or something. I got him went around the corner where he was at the long aisle. There was a white lady with a basket and two white gentlemen looking for vitamins. That guy was nowhere to be found. First one. Flash forward. The wife and I are expecting again. 
she has complications. Again, one day I'm at work, she goes to the doctor, regular doctor off, uh, routine, and uh, I mean early in pregnancy, and uh, they send her straight to the capital man at the children's hospital thing. Well, I'm at work, I don't even know this is going on. I get a phone call, hey, I'm up here. So I have to drive three hours after work, you know. We get up there, uh, the wife's having bad complications. It come down to, hey, we need to take the baby now, or, you know, if you wait any longer, y'all could both be lost. And we've already lost one, so I'm thinking, you know, this there's no way this is going to end good. <laughs> yeah, there's no way this is going to end good. Um, yeah, so we're like, okay, man, let's let's do it. My daughter was born, she weighed, I've smoked more weed than my daughter weighed when she was born. One pound and 13 ounces. Yeah. So, you know, I had this, my faith was like, because I've been here, okay? I've seen all this. I get to watch this baby get wheeled out of the room in a giant machine. <clears throat> That's this big. So, the baby's in the hospital. I don't know if anybody knows about being uh, pre uh, preemies. You know, you have to be showered. You wash your hands three or four times, put gloves on, mask. This is way before all this other crap. Gowns and everything. You get to be super sterile when you go in there because the babies have no immune system. They're, I mean, babies. You go back there and you, it, they're constantly crying. I mean, you know, there's eight to maybe six to eight babies in there at any time and my daughter's over there so me and the wife you know my baby was there for three months we, we went bankrupt um i lost my job she she was a she was uh working but she was off because of the baby and uh yeah everything went bad man i mean it was really bad didn't know what was going to happen and you know didn't want my, my daughter was going to come home we go up there I, she was up there my wife was uh picked her up from the hotel and we went to go see the baby and uh, I go back there, and there's this black lady that's right there by our baby, uh, touching her foot. We uh, go back there, and she's, oh, is this your sweet baby? Oh, this is my favorite baby, you know, just on and on and on. Not, no babies were crying. I was looking around when she was talking to my wife. That's odd. You know, I've been going up here three months. Every baby's, they're all, they're not asleep. They're all moving and just happy, and I'm like, this is insane, and my daughter is just content. That lady said, hey, this one's going home. All these babies are going home. Yes, ma'am. You know, we hear that all the time anyway. She said, oh, yeah, this one's special. She's going to be special. Well, thank you. She leaves, and uh, everything that was going on with me, man, disappeared, and uh we were leaving, and I said, hey, let's buy that lady lunch. You know, she's a nice lady. Never seen her before. Went back to go check on, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, we'd like to buy that lady, that, that, the uh, black nurse um, lunch. But we didn't have no black nurse during our shift. My daughter is 15 years old and a genius, an artist, can draw from memory. Very smart. She likes to be lazy like her daddy. She's very smart. Very, very intelligent. But yeah, hey man, they're out there watching over you. Look up, not down. You're blessed. Be kind to one another too, man. And when you can, always keep smoking, baby.